Big questions about how today's landmark Supreme Court ruling over presidential immunity will impact the former president's prosecution here in Georgia. Let's go to Fox 5's Rob Rienzo with that angle of the story and the fallout this has played out in Fulton County. Rob, what does this mean for the pre former president's RICO case? Hey there, Christine. Well, some legal scholars tell me that this will change, but not completely derail the former president's massive RICO indictment in the courthouse here behind me. At the core of this, as Russ just mentioned just a few moments ago, is whether or not the former president was acting in his official scope of duties when he called Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger to try to overturn the results here in Georgia. You're certainly at least going to get arguments about that, about whether there is immunity in that in the Georgia case. Emory Law School professor Jonathan Nash spent the day combing through the Supreme Court's landmark decision Monday that former presidents are immune from the law if they're acting in an official capacity. The court says there are certain things that lie within uh, the core uh, sphere of presidential authority. But Professor Nash says the court did not offer any legal immunity for former President Trump's unofficial acts. Setting up a scheme of fake electors is not something that the Constitution directly calls for. And now the fate of former President Trump's legal troubles in Georgia federally and elsewhere hinges on what official means. Fulton County Superior Court Judge Scott McAfee must go through each of the former president's 10 alleged felonies and figure out if any are now void. That includes if Mr. Trump's now infamous phone call with Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger pressuring him to flip the results was part of of his presidential duties. But the special counsel can't point to the president's motive. That's not something that can come into play. The action is either going to be sort of official or not official. Professor Nash says that same metric will come into play in Georgia as well as in his federal cases. But the former president's RICO indictment in Fulton County has been at a standstill as the courts decide whether District Attorney Fonnie Willis should be off the case following her romantic relationship with special prosecutor Nathan Wade. That will have to be sorted out first in this case. So that's all baked in already. This decision, I think, is going to give additional grounds for uh, the president and who knows, maybe other litigants to make additional arguments uh, to uh, have certain counts thrown out, claims of immunity. And on top of all of this uncertainty we're seeing at the federal level with those cases, he says that this case could take years to ultimately go before a jury. Meanwhile, we did reach out to Fonnie Willis's DA, Fonnie Willis's office, for comment, but we have, uh, but they declined at this point. That's latest from here, live in downtown Atlanta. Rob Urienzo, Fox 5 News. All right, Rob, thanks so much.